Yeah. Toby, you're doing a bit of work there. Yeah, small bit, you know, you have to keep the appearances good, you know. Toby the bearer. Yes. How long is this bearer here for? This pub is uh, probably in being since 1856, but it's in the Gibbons family since 1907 when my grandfather, John Toby Gibbons, came in from Kilowalia and leased it originally. In 1901, Matt Beckett's dad had it. Uh, and then, as I said, my grandfather took over the lease in 1907. Purchased right outright in 1947. So it's continuously in our family since 1907. The Carol Clark, who is a lessee at the moment, is um, myself and herself shared the same common grandfather, John Toby Gibbons. Karen's, Did you? Car yeah, Karen's mother was. Karen's mum is Kate Clark, Karen's dad is Ger Clark, and Ger Clark's mum was Maud Gibbons, John sure. Toby's daughter. So it's been all, it's a family affair for a long time, yeah. A long time, yes. And who had it, uh, who ran it over the years then? Ran over the years on my, uh, John Toby Gibbons, which is, uh, my grandfather uh, had it uh, until, say, 1947. Then my uncle, Paddy Joe Gibbons, took it over then. And he ran it uh, effectively until about uh, 1992. When he was in a car accident and uh, couldn't run any further, so uh, I took over the pub then. But, uh, and had the pub trade changed much over the few years? Yeah, the pub change, uh, has changed a fair bit. This pub was one of the few pubs that had a 6 o'clock uh, license in the morning for the fairs. So you opened up once a month at 6 o'clock and you could open up all night. And in the week you had 24 hour opening as well. And here there used to be droves of people coming into the pub, taking out handouts and takeaways for going to the train for Greek Sunday. Uh, but then all the buses were parked on the mall. Uh, but yeah, over the last couple of years the pub trade has gone down because uh, of the drink driving licenses and uh, we said our laws and also we said the smoking ban. But uh, Covid continues to do well, but it was a very, very local pub. And uh, a lot of us say Covid's drink here, you know. This is the Rogues Wall here, Ali. This is, we say, whoever caught fish or won competitions down here through the years uh, or on it. it is, traditionally, the fishermen always come in here for uh, after competitions and for weigh-ins. And basically on the wall there you see a beautiful trout caught by Joe Berry, £7 one ounce. And Joe caught him off the shore on Loch Mask on a Mayfly in 1992, which was a big achievement to catch him off the shore. And uh, then, of course, you have, we say, Brody Gibbons, my father, we say, with cups. Then you have, way, way back, taken outside Delphi, a photograph there with Sean Kittrick on it, Heinz Hackler, Richie Rose, Joe Berry, all those guys. Which one is that now? This is this photograph straight in front of us. That one? Oh, yeah. See Joe Berry in the front there? Freddie Gibbons, the young Toby Gibbons, Sidney Costa, Richie Rose, Michael Brooker, Leo Joy, Sean Kittrick, Heinz Hackler, Tommy Rose, all those old club members. Very good. So is uh, those pictures are on the wall there, 20, 30 years. What have uh, we down here then? Down, down the back. Here. And basically here is more, that's the fine catch of trout, Joe Berry, David Lennon, and Tom Cannon got 12 trout and a knock mask one day. And basically, as we say, a couple of guys then we say putting on pictures, a couple of pike fishermen in the club, 32 pound pike caught by Paul yeah. Smith, which was a, a, a great achievement. When was that one caught? That was caught just about five years ago. Well, that's fairly recent, yeah? Yeah, fairly recent, you know. Mm. Um, so, a lot of history on the wall there. So, this is the kind of the fishing pub, is it? It is very much a fishing pub. And down the back here so we have a bit down more. Down the back here, then you have basically, is, you have a. Uh, a trout, which is nearly eight pound weight, caught on Loch Coran by Toby Gibbons on a, a daddy long legs and netted by Brian Hope. That was a specimen tree sea trout. Very big sea trout down on Loch Coran, grow bigger than anywhere else. Where's Loch Coran? Loch Coran is in Kerry, down south Waterville. 